心の窓というが、足もそうであろう。普段我々は自らの本心をさらけ出さないように、机の下に自分たちの足を隠している。It's all too known now that director Naoko Yamada's signature is using legs as a framing device. Yamada uses lower extremities to deconstruct a character's psyche. How are they positioned? And what does it say about how they're feeling? It's not only a clever directorial quirk, it's one that defines the way Yamada tells stories. Yamada wants us to understand the small nuances that make us human. The subtleties of falling in love, the rift between partners, the hardship of moving on, and the extreme pain of loss. Our human experience is captured by her attention to detail, and nothing so eloquently does so as her use of legs. Legs back away, walk confidently, meekly. They're in motion. They are often subconscious products of our own reflexes and tell us truths that words cannot. They act, show power and unsureness. They peer into our insecurities and give context to power dynamics. What a character is experiencing can sometimes only be told by using legs. They can highlight the playfulness of youth or the misery of anxiety. A silent voice uses legs rather uniquely. While still using them to depict a character's state of being, Yamada also uses them to articulate Shoya's state of mind. By showing his point of view, we as an audience see how he's always looking down. What he sees are legs, not faces, and perhaps more importantly, not eyes. Yamada is a genius. Her intuition and understanding of human subtleties allows us to peer into the depths of our characters' souls. Her window, however, is different than most directors.